G'day guys, well today I'm just going to show a little video of what it's like to be on a Melbourne Snapper Charter. There's a lot of terrific charters in Melbourne. On this particular day I was on Pro Red Fishing Charters. Jason Turner is the captain, just giving him a hand uh, doing a bit of decking. Jason had just sounded up a big school of snapper, so Jason's positioned the boat just up from the school. They've all got the Reedy Scallop Rig and they're about to drop down all at the same time to see how many buckles we can get. You right, you've made it up? Yeah. Everyone's ready? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you've got one customer. Yeah, Here he's on. on. Uh, look at this. Two's on. Two's on. That's <laughs> <laughs> Double hook up! You're on the way. Who wants this one? Got that one? Roger, you're fucking next. Right, Yeah! Oh, well. Do you want to catch one? Oh, actually, here, I'll take this. You grab that, Joe. Oh, we got a. We got a. Fuck. Oh, you got two on? Nah, no, I got one on. What have we got? Nearly eight, bro. Yeah, put that rod down. Yeah. I think I think I might have. Yeah, you are. You're on. Yeah. Oh, good. Just easily lift him in. Grab the leader. And watch the hooks. Oh. Slowly, slowly, Jake. That one's going to free up. Hold him there. <laughs> All right, so. All I've done after you, Reedy. Yep. Yeah. Hang on, hang on. Oh, hang on. Hey, can you grab him out? No. You smashed it. There we go. Yeah. Free, 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 flip, flip the bar one. Oh, he's a good fish. Oh, no. Come on, get in the right. All right, I'm just going to dump him, flip your bow arm. Yep. Just two fish over here. Yep. One. Just hold him there. Just, he's just, he's, I can't. He's. Walk with me. And that's what a bit of mayhem. G'day guys. Well today it's a beautiful day, there's no wind. We're just out of Mornington. It's the end of uh, July. Silly me thinks he can catch a snapper in Port Phillip. Look at the conditions. We've got a tide change about two o'clock. I'll uh, shoot down the southern end of the bay. Hopefully the conditions stay good. There we go. Launching out of Mornington, I head south to Mud Island and on the way there I stumble across some archers that I thought I might try. Because we're going to try and catch squid and gummies I've tried to save some room in my boat. I've brought some heavier rods, rods and reels. I'm using 6,000 reel and an 8 to 10 kilo rod range. <sighs> More fun catching fish on braid. I don't know why, just the sound. We love it. Scallop, false hope on the sounder. So I've hooked myself a southern rock cod. Apparently they're nice eating, but it's not something I want to take home today. Minimum legal size on this fish, and that's 23 centimetres. I'm here to try and catch a winter snapper. Early season's where the fun is at. Because if you got a fish every time, it wouldn't really be fishing, eh? There we go, there's a buckle. <laughs> he might be half decent this one. 
It's definitely a snapper, boys. Look at that. Not huge, but we're gonna let him go because I want him to catch him in a few years. I'm happy with that. Real happy. Over the years, I've caught a lot of winter snapper, and the trick to it is persistence. Take him up, try and bring. That's a big snapper. I'm getting the rods in. My good, hey? Yeah. Whether it's Western Port or Port Phillip, we managed to catch snapper. Like this time with possum, we got five. But be warned, they're not easy to catch. We're in winter, just come out about 12 o'clock. Don't fish the mornings, they're just real hard, eh? Most of the time, I shouldn't say all the time, because that's just my experience with it. I launch about 12 and then finish up about six. I normally have a good day. To enjoy yourself fishing in winter, thermals are a must. It did this last year in Western Port early season. It was just these 50s around early in like winter. Winter you want to fish south because the water temperature is slightly higher and with the running tide you get the warmer water from offshore, making the fishing slightly better than anywhere north in both bays. I really focus on the afternoon fishing and gentleman hours in winter. I can't stress it enough, although I think you can get the whiting in the mornings. But there's a bit of activity behind us. I should put the drone up. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. Oh, let's go see this. Wonder what they're chasing. Pilchards, I'd say. Here comes another school. I think that's the bite period done. Getting the footage for the dolphins because it was bloody cool. They were just busting up. I don't know what they're doing. I presume they're chasing garfish or pilchards or something. They they do it every winter. If you want to, if you want to treat your um, kids in winter, bring them out here off Mornington. Just drive around on a flat day, and you'll find these massive pods of dolphins. They're here every year chasing something. You're not allowed to go near them, so. But if you're just driving slow, they'll come to you most of the time. So many dolphins, like the other day. Here's a clip from the other day with my kids looking at the dolphins. I like the, oh, Sonny, do you like the um, dolphins? Yeah. What do you reckon, Sonny, good? Yeah. Snapper bite shut down. I pull up the rods and continue on my journey to Mud Island. generic marks and then there's you find new marks so I don't know to take your squid to the whole new level you just snap off just delete those generic marks and you just go and find your own because when you find your own marks there's a high chance they don't get fished and the fishing will be ten times better to find your own squidding marks that's really easy. This is the type of ground you want to look for, a bit of broken ground, and you just drive around in three or four metres down the southern end because the water's a lot clearer, which makes it a lot easier to catch squid as well. And when you're in that three to four metres of water, you only need a 2.5 jig to get your jig to the bottom. Find the slower sink rate really increases your, your catch rate. And the other thing I'll add, try and focus your fishing around an hour either side of the tide. So not the slack tide, but the hour leading to the slack tide and then the hour after slack tide is generally really productive in Port Phillip Bay in winter. And also the afternoons again. Out here you're competing with thousands and thousands of people. Finding your own areas can really uh, help you help you catch more fish.
It's honestly not very hard to drive around and find ground like this. You just use your eyes and that's all you got to do. It's simple. Yep. When it comes to squid jigs, I keep it really simple. To be honest, I only have three colors. I have red when it's sunset or sunrise, green when it's overcast like these conditions here, and white when the sky is blue. And I keep it really simple. Just done our first squid. That's me, one of my favorite jigs in Port Phillip. Might work this area. and Izzy just enjoying themselves today on the squid. When we find a patch of squid, we like to call them the hotties. Yeah, Bo! Yeah, Bo! We'll just, we'll just go back to the GPS mark where I got that one. I reckon we'll work that area. As the tide started to run, the squid started to bite. Being at the squid spot at the right time really pays dividends. Not wasting all your time all afternoon catching squid. If they're not going, they're not going and I move on and do something else. But on this day, luck was really on my side and the biggest squid I caught this day completed my bag. Now it's big, I can see it. It's not an arrow. It's a big dog. It's a, it's a bully. Hang on, it might be an arrow. Oh, mate, it's only just hooked. Oh, it's off. It's off. Nah, it's a bully. It's only hooked by the like a. Got him, ball. There you go, <laughs> There you go, boys. Catching this squid really made my day and if I didn't catch anything else for the day now I'd be so grateful. Little did I know that the best was yet to come. Never, never fished this spot before but I just backed myself in to find a new mark. I like fishing new marks because you get new fish, like you go to the same old mark, you get the same old stuff. So we'll just get another squid ring out. We're gonna have paternosters down each side. The 187s out of the back. Yeah, what an afternoon. This is what winter fishing should be. This year we've been gypped. We haven't had, normally you get tons of days like this. We've got a hot summer with calm days and a good snapper season. This is the fishing where you just come out all day and you enjoy yourself on the bay. Just snook it down the southern end find some weedy ground and have a good time on the squid. There's still big ones lurking around, as you've seen before. And uh, hopefully Izzy and uh, young Zaki get a big gummy over there. The sun's about to set and we're gonna fish for the next hour. I think we're four days out from the moon, which I find to be, I like the moon, the lead up to the moon is awesome. Get this gym, this sucker out. Oh, lucky stick, he'll go out. The rod's in, we've got about two hours to go to we're at the top of the tide. Squid rings on every rod, two paternosters, to Western Port out the back. The rods are not even in five minutes when the first rod screams off. I try to put the GoPro on, but I accidentally knock it into time-lapse mode. Got myself a winter snapper. What a ripper day. I can't believe it. Not even a minute later, the other rod screams off and my drone's up in the air. We're on again, boys. I don't, this is not a snapper. And the bloody drone flew away. 
I think this is a, oh, it might be a snapper. It might be another one. Yep. What are they? I'm gonna land me drone. He's got the other. I'm gonna have to do. As I scramble and grab the gummy, the drone starts landing on the water, so I've got to act really quick. Oh, mayhem! Woo! What an absolutely mind-blowing day for winter fishing in Port Phillip Bay. As I drive back to Mornington, I'm forever grateful. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay awesome, and I hope to see you out there.